engine moonlight. The earth is stricken with a low sun. I'm on a higher plane. The hills are bleeding shadows. The terrain is leaking darkness from a thousand cuts and folds. The topographical is graphic. You can see the backbone of a dinosaur a mile long coming through the heavy old wrinkled skin of the earth. Parts of it are covered with the typographic neighborhoods. They're crystallizing on the surface, a metallic squaresville for the typecast. On the edge of it, the hills are waving long black ribbons in ravines, the incrustation of a city from five miles up. I'm up in the air about modernity, the fatalism of right angles, and the wrecked dreams of conformists. The housing tracks like writhing strands of chromosomes which make a house a home. There are cracks on the edge of the continent. Erosion is a fact of life, if not the second act. Landing in another zone, I'm driven into the hills. The moon is floating in a black bottom pool. I build a fire on the edge of it and stare into the flames. After several sunsets, I am on a return flight. The world is drowned in shadow. It's a fly-by-night dimension. Cities are computer circuits spreading like erratic crystals in the darkness and revealing an electrified geometry like space stations in the void, connected by meandering and automotive strands for the historically stranded. Disturbed psychological vapors are rising above L.A., <coughs> causing turbulence for an airliner. It is shaken like a toy. You ride it out according to the calm of your continuum, a fire in the engine and moonlight on the wing.